Okay, as you know, each fall, Norm Wells of BMW Motorrad and myself have been packing up our motorcycles and setting off to explore a variety of destinations all across North America. Literally checking off our own personal bucket list under the guise of educating you, our loyal viewers. Over the past 14 years, we've ridden all across Canada, from Cape Spear, Newfoundland, to Tofino, Vancouver Island. Plus, more recently, there's been side trips to the south of the border, to wrestle the tail of the dragon, soak in the Grand Canyon, snap Mount Rushmore, and sample the Hot Wheel tracks around LA. So for this year's adventure, we decided it was time to get back to spotlighting our home and native land and explore an area of Eastern Canada known for its friendly hospitality, stunning scenery, and wonderful roads. So Norm, here we are at Moto Vanier in Quebec City and we're picking up our units. We've got a couple of nice K1600 GTs waiting for us here. And uh, as we were flying into Quebec City this morning, I was thinking about this, our 14th ultimate ride. And you know, we've pretty much covered all of Canada in very large chunks, but today, and Gas Bay being a great example, we're now breaking it down even smaller pieces. Why did you pick Gas Bay? Well, when we were here a couple years ago, um, originally I wanted to do the Gas Bay, but we just didn't have the time to do it. Right. But this is one place as a motorcyclist you want to see. It's a motorcycle mecca. It's, it's all about the ride. There's a lot of history here as well, but this is going to be all about the ride over the next few days. It's just such a beautiful place to ride. You're on the coast of the Gulf of St. Lawrence. You're on the coast of Beatty Shalar. You can go in and out of the Gaspé Peninsula on these various roads and you're going to get changing scenery continuously. So it's a real cool place to go as a motorcyclist. Right. As you said, there's tons of history here and I'm sure we'll be discussing that as we go. I mean, the history of Canada, a lot of places, a lot of countries came here uh, from the 1500s on. Um, so we'll talk about the history as we go. The route though, I can see that the, the roads, the, the opportunities here to follow the coast, they're very squiggly. We're going to have some great twisty roads um, following the coast, but you also mentioned going inland at one point and that there's actually a mountain region that we're going to be tackling? Yes, yeah, that's uh, once we leave uh, tomorrow from Ramouski and then make our way down towards uh, Matapedia and the Baie des Chalars, we'll cut across towards New Richmond and there we'll head north. And this, this is the road that goes right through the park up to Mont-Saint-Anne-des-Monts -Mont and uh, obviously St. Anne des Monts tells you it's uh, all about the mountains. This right. is going to be a beautiful mountainous region with high mountains and uh, really interesting. Okay, so camera's ready to go. Um, it's September. As always, we do these ultimate rides in the off season. I don't imagine we're going to see many tourists. Uh, no, not this time of year. We're uh, mid September now, and, and you know, most of the tourists are off the roads by uh, Labor Day weekend, and kids are back in school. So uh, we'll see a lot of places that have closed down. You know, they're prepping for the winter up here. Uh, and uh, I don't think we're going to see a lot of vehicles, motorcycles, humans, a lot of anything up there. <laughs> okay. You mentioned things are closing down. Does that mean we're going to be hard up for meals? Or are we going to be able to sample some seafood on this journey? I'm sure we'll find some seafood along this coastal route over the next few days. Yeah, good, good, good. <laughs> and it is September and it's uh, definitely the days are shorter and chillier. We're, we're expecting some cold mornings and some cold late afternoons, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I was looking at the weather for the week and uh, we're looking at single digit mornings and dual digit afternoons, but the dual digits are low. So uh, it's going to be another one of these trips where you know the clothing is going to be as important as the product you're riding for the weather. Well, we've got the heated vests and we've got the multiple layers, so we should be good to go. I am so excited. Number 14 in the Ultimate Rides, let's do it. 